Oh, wow. Well, it's pretty amazing, entrance, the second, isn't it? The second you're walking <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, it is. It's amazing, isn't it? From the moment you arrive at the King Solomon car park and take a walk down through the forest to the cave entrance, you start to get a sense that you're about to see something very special. And boy, do you see something special. Check this out. Stop in here for a sec. Oh, wow. It's pretty amazing, the entrance, second, isn't it? The <laughs> second you walk in. Yeah, it is. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Every, wow. every wall, like in, we that. actually don't see much of the bedrock in here. Like, and then the differences in colour are just different minerals that have leached into the crystal. So, usually, different amounts of iron um, leaches in from above, and that's what gives you all these different colours. A bit of tannin as well, because we're so close to the forest, we actually get quite a lot of tannin oozing through from above as well. And if it's kind of like pure white, it usually means it's pure calcite crystal. King Solomon Cave is a relatively small, dry cave located about 25 kilometres from Mole Creek. The cave got its name because of the glistening calcite crystal that sparkles just like the fabled King Solomon Mines. King Solomon Cave has two entrances. The entrance we use today was excavated in 1927. Construction involved the widening of a secondary entrance and the clearing of rock and debris to open up a series of chambers to link the new entrance to the public area. At the same time, a generator and electric lighting systems were installed. The new lighting being switched on for the public for the first time in 1928. But the original entrance to the cave was discovered in 1906 by a farmer when his dog fell down a chimney-like opening. In this photo, you can also see the original carbide generator that ran the lights from 1928. In the early days, visitors would have to negotiate a 40-foot drop from the surface via step ladders to enter the cave. King Simon Cave may be a small cave, but it has a big wow factor. From the moment you enter this cave to the very end, you're going to be immersed in the most impressive, glistening formations that you've ever seen from the stalactites to the stalagmites, the columns, the shawls, the curtains, the bacon strip with the most amazing colours, rim pools, flowstone, you name it, this cave has it all. It has everything that a big cave has to offer in a small package, but wow, it is so magic, this cave. You must come and visit if you get the opportunity. Absolutely love the crystal in this cave. It's magic, isn't it? It's yeah. just yeah, oh, it's perfection. Else, we can certainly recommend a tour of King Solomon Cave when you're next in and around the Mole Creek area. We also visited Mara Cooper Cave, which isn't far from King Solomon Cave. It's easy to do both in the same day, and we highly recommend them. We'll do an episode about Mara Cooper in our next video. We would like to thank Dave, our guide from Parks and Wildlife Service, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.